Hi, in this video I would like to explain the work done in a situation where the force is acting at an angle to the direction of motion. So we have an alien robot standing there with a green looking belt around its waist and there is a rope from the belt to the block and the block will move horizontally and the robot will run forward. Let's look at an animation here and uh, as a robot is uh, walking or running forward it pulls on the rope at an angle to the horizontal because the rope itself is at an angle but the block is moving purely in the horizontal manner. So how to calculate the work done in such a situation? The first thing to do is to resolve the forces. So the mother force is the F uh, which is uh, shown as a green arrow along the rope direction and the resolution of that mother force in the direction of motion is a smaller component that is F cos into A where A is the angle between the rope and the horizontal. So always draw a triangle when you have to resolve something so you will get F cos A which is smaller than F of course and you will get a vertical component F sin A which is smaller than F. The F sin A will tend to reduce the weight of the block because the rope is kind of pulling upwards. Now is there any other force? Yes it is. There is a backward friction force written in pink as FR. So the net force that's propelling the block forward and accelerating it is F cos A minus FR. So take that net force in the direction of motion, multiply it by the displacement, whatever is the displacement of that block and you will get the work done. To calculate the friction one might do some more calculation which we will show in the next slide. So now we know how to resolve it. So the net force is F cos A minus the force of friction in the forward direction. In the vertical direction the weight of the block gets a little bit reduced by that um, pulling force of the rope that's F sin A. So you can see that the normal reaction has been reduced a bit. The weight of the block doesn't change but the weight of, of the block minus F sin A becomes normal reaction and then when you multiply mu into n you get the friction force backwards. I hope this was uh, clear to you. Thanks and have a great day.